Hello, it's Burgess Taylor, and I'm giving you my honest review of the Arteza Premium 24 Count of Watercolor Tubes. They sent me these to review, and that's my new brush. I got that at the beginning of March. It is a small 3-0 like quill. It's um, synthetic sable squirrel. So the colors on this are actually pretty decent. They give you some really good colors. T titanium white, yellow pale, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, gamboge, orange yellow, scarlet red, vermilion red, burnt sienna, crimson red, rose, moth pale, violet, fallow blue, Prussian blue, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, cerulean blue, light green, sap green, deep green, raw umber, burnt umber, and noir, which is a fancy way of saying black, y'all. Have you ever been super excited about getting something and then when you get it, after you get it open and you try it out, you're like extremely disappointed. Well, that was me and these watercolors. I have been using Arteza water brushes for, I don't know, over a year now. I saw those on Lindsay the Frugal Crafters YouTube channel and she recommended them and I tried them and I love them. They work wonderfully. So when Arteza reached out to me, I got excited because I thought I'd be able to review some more decent budget friendly products and they do have some decent budget friendly products but these watercolors that they sent me are just decent budget friendly products there's nothing outstanding about them would I purchase them with my own money no not after having tried them out will I be repurchasing them no will I be using them not very often um, I might actually be giving them away or they may be just project watercolors or watercolors to practice with Victor or for me to practice with. To be honest, I'm just not really that big of a fan. Um, but I'm going to practice with them some more because I, I'm thinking maybe part of this might have been my own fault, but I'm going to see. I did, however, at the end of this, do a journal page with them just to test them out some more um, and I'm still not a fan. One of my big problems with these is that the colors that are in the tubes versus the colors that are on the tubes and on the back of the box don't necessarily match at all. They're lighter or darker, they're not the same shade as what is listed on the tube, on the end of the tube, or on the little back of the box where they give you the sample of the color. Um, how they react is okay, they're very much opaque. To me, they feel like a cross between watercolors and gouache and I know that gouache is a cross between watercolor and acrylic but these tubes of paint because they're so opaque and they are actually quite a bit chalky some of them they felt like a cross between watercolor and gouache to me they don't smell funny like the gouache does but they're chalky quite a few of them are very chalky and quite a few of them um, are just so opaque it was actually more like using gouache um, you can work to get them more translucent, but I like to work towards getting them to be more opaque rather than to get them to be more translucent. I'm used to using watercolors where I have to work to get it darker, not work to get it lighter. They're actually pretty colors, but like I said, they're chalky, some of them. And if I run my hand across my journal right now where I did the swatches, or where I did the journal page spread at the end of this and I can feel the chalkiness I am NOT a fan I do not like that the artist loft were like that only they give you a, an actual residue so when you use the artist loft watercolors you run your hand across those you pick up residue from it and it's chalky you have to do a lot of rubbing to get rid of that residue and the chalky feeling that's one of the reasons I don't really like using pastels much. I don't like the residue. Um, so I was quite surprised with these and disappointed. Um, if I run my hand across, when I use my handmade watercolors, that Latte Date set, they do have a little bit of texture to them. They are just a tiny bit chalky, but once you rub your hand across them, that chalkiness disappears. And they don't give you a residue, whereas this, gives you that chalky feeling and it doesn't disappear and the artist loft unfortunately gives you the chalky feeling and the residue so not a fan of the chalky feeling I'm not a fan I don't mind textured watercolors but I don't like the chalky feel and I found that a lot of these were sort of the ones that were chalky were hard to write on with pins 
I tried several different pens and found myself getting frustrated because my fountain pen didn't want to work on them, especially the ones that were chalky. Um, some of the fine liners didn't want to work on them. I tried the Sharpies and those worked better. The Faber Castells worked better, but some of the other pens didn't work so well. <laughs> I really do recommend them for somebody who's looking for two watercolors to try on a budget. Um, just remember that most of the time when you when you use watercolors, you're actually trying to get it to go darker. Like you have to do um, washes to get them to go darker. Whereas this one was more where I had to work to get it to go lighter. Um, cut might definitely might be operator error. I am not a watercolor professional. I'm not a watercolorist. Um, I am learning, but after using all different different types of watercolor and testing out budget-friendly ones, I've used the Artist Loft, I've used Prang, I've used Windsor Newton, I've used Daylor Brownie, I've used all different kinds of Jane Davenport, I've used Daniel Smith and Schmika and the Gonzai Tambi and a lot of different ones, and I have to tell you that if I were purchasing watercolors to practice with or to put watercolor in my journal, this is not one of the ones I'd recommend. If you want to practice with two watercolor, these might be. Um, but I can't get over the chalkiness and I can't get over how opaque they are and the feeling that when I was watercoloring with them, no matter what paper I was using, it just felt like I was using, I don't know, some kind of hybrid between watercolor and gouache. They did work better on the Tomoe River paper because the Tomoe River paper has that coating on it so it didn't absorb the watercolor the way that the mixed media paper and the watercolor paper did. And like I said, I'm not a watercolorist, I'm not an art teacher, I'm not a professional, I'm just a journaler and I've practiced enough with a lot of this to know what I like and what I don't like, what feels good on the paper when I run my hand across it and what doesn't and these weren't it. And it was extremely disappointing. It was disappointing that I asked for several different other products, like any number of different products, and this was what I got. This was not really on the list of what I really wanted to try. But that didn't disappoint me. When I got the watercolors, I was like, oh, well, maybe this is a sign I need to try something different anyway. And I got really excited because the colors looked really pretty. I liked the idea of having more tube watercolors, so many different colors to choose from, and some of them are beautiful colors, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful colors. Um, just, I'm just not a fan, and I'm not going to not give an honest review. So would I purchase these on my own after having tried them? No. And one of the main reasons is the chalkiness, the other reason is the opaqueness, and the third reason would be that you can't get them individually. You can only get them in the pack, so if I ran out of one of the colors, I would have to buy the whole pack in order to replace that one color, so that's not, not a make me happy kind of thing. I think they're probably, they're, they're definitely worth the money that they, but like I said, it's not something I would purchase after having tried them. Um, I can recommend them for projects. I can recommend them to practice with. Um, they do have the rating on the outside of the tube. They have little uh, stars, well, actually it's a cross that tells you about the information about them, light fastness and opaqueness and that kind of thing. Um, so that's really good. But um, yeah, I don't think that that's necessarily all that accurate considering the colors that are on the outside of the tube do not match the colors necessarily that are inside the tube. Several of the colors weren't what the outside of the tube said it was. Um, they're lighter or darker and I don't <laughs> just can y'all tell I'm just not really happy with them. I think they're gorgeous and it is extremely disappointing that when I look at this video and I see those beautiful colors but I can take my hand and rub it across my journal page and be ever so disappointed. I would never have colored up all those swatches the way that I did had that been better. You know had it not been chalky I ended up covering the bulk of these swatches in my journal on this page with other things because of the way that those paints felt. Now I was pretty careful when I did the, the journal pages at the end of this to sort of use some of the colors that weren't quite so chalky 
but um, yeah, that yellow ochre and one of the reds and quite a few of the other colors, they're really chalky. So um, I'm going to hush now because there's not a whole lot more that I could say except that I highly recommend their water brushes. I have heard really good things about their paper. Um, their paper, I've heard the watercolor paper and mixed media paper would be great to use um, for practice and stuff. I've heard actually heard really good things about their paper, so I was I was hoping I would get some of the paper to try, but I did not. Um, I got these, and like I said, the water brushes I bought about sometime last year, maybe or the year before. Um, I think I bought those last year, beginning of the year, the Arteza water brushes. And I would recommend those. I, and like I said, I look at those colors right now as I'm doing this voiceover, and they are pretty. They are pretty. Especially on that Tomaway River paper. So, this is where I did the journal page, and now I'm going to let you go, and you can see for yourself. Um, I won't be using these watercolors in my journal again. I don't like the way that they feel, and um, I don't like having to work to get them to be light. I'm used to having to work to get them to be dark. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe it's operator error. It could very well be me, because one little dot of watercolor from a tube really does go a long way. So maybe it was me. Maybe it was me. But I've actually got tubes of watercolor um, that I use. And I didn't have that problem with those. But then again, the watercolor tubes that I have are either Winter Newton, Dale or Rowney, or Daniel Smith. So maybe that's my issue. But I, I love I love watercolors in general, like all different kinds of watercolors, from the Winter Newton Cotman to the Jane Davenports. I even like my pranes, y'all. And I love the Gonzai Tambi ones, so it's not an issue of being um, snooty towards budget-friendly watercolor because I'm not at all. I actually use my Gonza I can be a lot. I use my Windsor & Newton watercolor travel palette which is student grain watercolor a lot. I still use it a whole lot. I actually have the bigger packet palette of Windsor & Newton and sometimes I'll trade colors in and out of my little one. Um, I still use the Cotman. So I love the Cotman brushes but this I was really disappointed about. I really wish they'd have sent me the colored pencils um, or the paper because these watercolors were just such a disappointment. I did try, however, to draw some things that would have more sketchy lines where you could really see whether it was opaque or not because the opaque paint will hide some of those sketchy lines. And I tried to do some things with some different colors so you could kind of get a feel for what I was doing with the watercolor. Um, yeah, just, I'm going to go now because I'm going to start rambling, and, um, yeah, the affiliate links below, the affiliate links will be below to my Amazon, there'll be Amazon affiliate links for any of the project, below will be links, Amazon affiliate links to any of the products that I've mentioned that I recommend. I will also leave a link to these watercolor tubes um, that I can recommend for practice and for playing around with and for projects and that Victor and I may have a lot of fun with. Talk to y'all later. I hope that you enjoyed this. Bye y'all.